uh, Mr. B here again bringing you another math video. Uh, in this little video I'm going to show you how to find the x-intercepts of a rational function. Um, so I've got just a typical rational function over here so all a rational function is is a polynomial divided by a polynomial so I've got a quadratic divided by a quadratic. So if you want to find the x-intercepts what we know, what we need to know is that we have to set the numerator equal to zero. So we take whatever function is in the numerator or whatever equation we have or expression and set it equal to zero. So my uh, numerator looks like this x squared plus x minus two and I'm going to set that equal to zero. So chances are you're going to have a quadratic you know a linear uh, quadratic or a cubic as your um, you know as your numerator so you ha you'll have probably have to use either quadratic formula for a uh, quadratic or maybe grouping or integral zero theorem or rational roots theorem for the cubic so I have a quadratic um, so normally I would just check and see if it's factorable so I'm thinking what adds to give me one and multiplies to give me negative two so it looks like x plus two and x minus 1 will work. So let's just check and see if that works. So um, 1, so 2 plus negative 1 is 1. And then multiply to give me negative. Yep, so that works. So then I'll have this little situation going on. So now it's factored. So one of the things that I want to keep in mind is that uh, there's also a possibility that I also might have pods going on here. So what I want to do now that it's factored is make sure I factor the bottom as well so that's really important so let's factor the bottom so what adds to give me um, 1 and multiplies to give me negative 20 so it's probably going to be x plus 5 x minus 4 so we don't have anything that cancels here um, so therefore we don't have a pod so we don't have to worry about one of our x-intercepts not actually being an x-intercepts and being a point of discontinuity when I say pod that's what I mean point of discontinuity so in fact these are both actually x-intercepts so x plus 2 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 x minus 1 is equal to 0 so I end up with x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 1. So let me just give you an example of where, so these are my x-intercepts. Let me just give you a quick example of what I was talking about with the pods and the x-intercepts. So if I had something like this, and I'll write it out in factor form. So I'll keep the top the same as what I had for this one. But instead on the on the bottom it factored to x plus 2 x um, plus 1. So let's for instance uh, say we never factor the bottom. I wouldn't know here that I actually had a pod. So if you look at what I have going on here, um, I actually have a pot point of discontinuity at x is equal to negative 2. Basically, this would be my indeterminate form that would actually cancel out, just like we saw probably sometime when we are doing limits. So these cancel, therefore we removed that pod from our little equation that we had here. So it's really important to be able to differentiate between an x-intercept and a pod. If it cancels, it's a point of discontinuity. If it doesn't, like in our first case, then we have x-intercepts. All right, guys, so this is pretty straightforward, so I hope this helps in finding your x-intercepts of a rational function. Um, see you guys in class. Talk to you later.